2015-0167, Parish President Remarks Report, Ms. St. Pierre. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. On the grants, we've received notification that on May 18th, FEMA and GOSAP approve our request for additional funding in the amount of $444,912 for the Primrose Canal Road Crossing Improvement Project. The construction contract is for $1,999,453.40, of which grant funding will now cover $1,581,941. The grant has a 25% uh, match requirement, including the engineering cost. On the community service, uh, we had our first big time wedding at the uh, Eddie Dufresne Community Center. Uh, I was pleased uh, for the first reception that we had 400 and over 450 participants. If you look at the screen up there, it will show you exactly what the inside of that gymnasium looked like. When you look at it, there's no way you can tell it's a gymnasium unless you looked at the lines on the floor and see the, the markings. So we had some very good compliments. Eric can use this photo as part of our marketing uh, program, and I'm sure we'll get a lot more bookings. The, the, the place was uh, absolutely beautiful. Great job by Eric Amir. Uh, fall registration, uh, sports registration is now open until July 10th for the following fall sports, fall baseball, football, volleyball, cheerleading. For more information, visit the Park and Recreation section of the parish website at www.stcharlesparish-la.gov slash recreation. On the planning and zoning, our planning and zoning uh, department will host an open house from 5.30 until 7.30 p.m. June the 4th in the Courthouse Council Chambers, 15045 River Road, to discuss proposed changes to the parish zoning ordinances completed as part of Phase 1 of the ongoing modernization project. Those interested in reviewing the proposed changes can download them from the news section of the parish website at www.stcharlesparish-la.gov slash news beginning May 28th. Our Civil Service Award Banquet, St. Charles Parish honored 92 employees for both attendance and service during the 33 annual Civil Service Awards and Training Program held April 30th at the Eddie A. Dufresne Community Center in Luling. Terry Shasson of the Zalman, an equipment operator for in the St. Charles Parish Public Works Department, was named the Outstanding Employee of the Year. Shasson is a 32-year employee. He has served the, entire, the entirety of his career with the Public Works Department beginning in 1982 as a laborer and was quickly promoted to operator, equipment operator. St. Charles Parish Personnel Director Sandy Zimmer said that her co-workers nominated him for his ability to get along well with others and the willingness to go above and beyond to get the job done. For a full list of honorees, you can visit the website, www.stcharlesparish-la.gov. Hurricane season as Ron just uh, uh, mentioned to you. We had a press conference in New Orleans today with all the partners, the Corps, the uh, Mayor, the CPRA, and everybody stressed the importance of having a good hurricane plan but none of the plans can be successful unless the people cooperate with us. Uh, all of our residents uh, in, Saint, in the river parishes and the metro area, my, re my recommendation to you is be prepared and leave early. Uh, you know, when we call a major evacuation, we take that, that call very seriously. That decision is made by reliable information received by the National Weather Services and also from slosh models that we run within the department ourselves. Each parish has a different specific needs, and we know where our vulnerability areas are. So although that sometimes we got last year, we made a, uh, a call. The last time we evacuated, we got so many calls that, well, why is St. Charles Parish the only parish evacuating? We don't know what's going on in other parishes, but we know what's going on in our parish. So we make, we, we make an evacuation call. We expect you to adhere to it. And the, the, the pamphlet that Ron referred you to, if you want to be successful and you want to get back in this parish in a hurry, please, please follow recommendations in this pamphlet. This is this pamphlet is, is an excellent pamphlet. The first day out today was the first time I had a chance to read it. And like Ron said, this will be going to all the residents by June the first. And remember, the aftermath of, aftermath of the storm is something much more difficult to deal with than the weather. That's when the work really begins. There will be no sewer services, no power, no food, no gas and limit access to emergency services. Once the flooding and wind threat is gone, 
serious threats still remain. So while we hope for a calm hurricane season, we all know it only takes one storm to come our way to make this a disaster. And especially on the last section when it comes on the debris, I know when you get back home, you want to start hurrying up and cleaning your yard up. But if you follow the debris guidelines in the back, it'll tell you where to put. You can't put everything in one pile. You've got to separate it, and that would help us tremendously and save us, save us a lot of money. West Bank update on the levee. Uh, all levee embankments has been in place. There are currently six 500 feet sections of the levee which will require the final disking and testing of the final six inch lift. Remaining items of work for the next month include sand hauling and installation of the new maintenance road and seeding, fertilizing, the new embankments to promote veg uh, vegetation covering. As of this council meeting, 6115, the project is 519 days into the 459 calendar days contract. The contract states that the weather permitting the project should be substantially complete by the end of June. Uh, the mandatory pre-bid meeting will be held on June the 9th for the Willow Ridge pump station. The levy phase of Willow, Day Willow Ridge Drive to the Willow Dale pump station whose scope includes 1,500 feet of levy at elevation 7.5 and, and a T-well frontal protection at 14.5 feet at the Willow, Willow Dale pumping station will be advertised in the next four to six weeks. Under the Ellington phase, the levy, engine, levy engineer has been coordinating with the wastewater engineer and wastewater department relative to the relocation of the existing sewer force mains by directional drilling from the east of Valen Valencia Drive to the Cousins pump station. This relocation will be accomplished prior to the levy construction in this reach. Under the Magnolia phase, saw borings Saw boring fuel work is continuing with one remaining boring to be taken. A notice to proceed with the tele telegraphic survey for the levee has been issued and the fuel work is nearing completion. The final design of the uh, Magnolia Ridge pumping station is on the way. Under the sunset uh, levee survey, the topographical sec survey of the sunset district levee from the western end of Magnolia levee system to the western end of SLD was completed in January of 2014. Geotechnical boring and analysis, the geotechnical field work on the SLD 74 saw borings and 115 CPTs were completed in December 2014, with the lab test, testing completed in January of 2015, and the final geotech engineering services report was completed and transmitted to LBLD in May of 2015. Rainfall modeling for the Upper Barataria Basin north of Highway 90. Mm -hmm. The Lafouche Levy Basin District should be receiving the draft rainfall modeling report for the Upper Barataria Basin north of Highway 90 from CPRA this week. And meeting is to be set up for the week of uh, June the 15th to review and discuss the, the results. The Highway Alignment, alignment Permit Application, Lafouche Levy District and his partners, North Lafouche Levy District, has authorized CB&I to apply for the LDNR coastal use permits as a uh, USAC 404 Section 10 permit on the Highway 90 alignment of the Lafouche Levy District Hurricane Protection Project. The Highway 90 alignment being permitted, being at the intersection of St. Charles Parish Levy and Davis, the Davis Diversion and extend to LA 308 and Lafouche Parish with a floodgate and flood wall in the Bayou de Zarin below the Highway 90 overpass. CBNI is currently collecting all the existing information to begin this project and will submit the application soon. That concludes my report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. St. Pianico.